Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a brand new Monday morning content release. Now, as you guys do know, the stream is done until at least January 3rd, I believe, because they did give us a schedule from now. Well, from the 24th to December, uh, January 2nd. So, today's the December 28th on the schedule. If you guys have a screenshot of the schedule, if not, you can go back to that stream and find it. I think it was probably like the 23rd or the 22nd, but it's the holiday break schedule. Really awesome to have, so we can always go around and keep updating everyone on what's going on. But today's 28th release. We got, so we got some stuff to go over. Quite a few things here that are pretty exciting. Specifically, today, guys, we got the end of the snowball fight, which I will go over in just a second as we do get into that, guys. But if you haven't already, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to go, boys, and join the family. Give this video a big th uh, thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Guys, if you guys are still looking for coins throughout the size zero chill promo, of course, we did get more players today. So make sure if you guys need coins, head over to mutreserve.com down below in the description. Use code Poodle. It is up to 30% still. Take advantage of the holiday discount. Snag up some coins, guys. we got so much players to buy and only more that keep coming out as the days do go on. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That's pretty much it. So let's go on over to everything because we do have a lot of stuff to be going over here. Quite a few things for the Monday, and then of course we still have the, um, we have no content tomorrow, then we come back on the 30th, 31st, the 1st, and the 2nd, those are our final contents for at least the no stream days, once the stream days do come back, I imagine I'll probably be different, and January 2nd lands on a Saturday, so then we'll have no content Sunday, and then we'll probably be coming back to a Monday morning, uh, regular schedule more than likely, hopefully, I mean we can only hope, if not, maybe something change, because then we do have Team of the Year starting shortly after that, that's about it for that guys, let's get into the stuff that we have to get over, so first off for the snowball fight, the snowball fight is ending so if you guys know this is snowball fight right here in the seasons. It is the newer house rules that we are working with right now. So this is the snowball fight. If you had done this, you would have been able to go ahead and complete the set for the Justin Herbert and Miles Garrett. So it does end today. You guys have minimal time. And you can still get it done. I don't know if it ends at 1030 or if it ends just like today's the last day. Hopefully today's just the last day so you still have time. The snowball fight right here if you want to go. I recommended taking Herbert because that was the community pick. Which means you'll get the 93. But I recommend it as a smart pick on Garrett because that does mean that Garrett would end up getting, even though it's only 92, he's still going to be a pass rusher with all the thresholds and everything. So I imagine he would have still been good regardless of whether or not he got the 93. Considering Herbert didn't get all the thresholds, but he get the speed and the throw power. So it's kind of tough to like not justify going with the upgraded pick. But still, that is the first thing today. It's just going to be that. And we do have some Ghost of Future drops and stuff. So let's go check out that and a few other things as well. Hopefully these are as good and stat wise, you know, as some of the other things have been. I did see one of the leaks. Hopefully, you know, everything stands out. We do have some store offers to go over some solos, so let's get into all that. Solos are out for the Grinch solos. Now at this point, I believe if you do the map and these, you could probably get a just about everything you need to get done. Of course, there's gonna be some more stuff as well. But you're able to get a decent amount of everything done just about now. So so far we have a I believe each one's what is it, 35 total stars. Just about we check towards the bottom too. Hey, 35, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times thirty five is somewhere around like three hundred. Mm, three hundred ten. So if you do all of them at five stars, or you know, max stars, three hundred and ten does get you right about here. So you're gonna need one more solo sequence to finish it. So you're gonna get three X chill uh chill factors, rank ups, and then a lot of snow, so if you play today, you're able to get those final chill, uh, two, no, not the final two, but the tier 12 chill factors, which does help a lot. People didn't do a lot of the sets or anything else. And then you solos that they really say, which I haven't unlocked yet, are the Mr. Grouch coming to town. So make sure you do go ahead and start getting those done. You don't necessarily have to rush it, but it would be it would be nice to go ahead and start getting those so you can go ahead and collect those extra two chill factors, especially if you need it. And then, uh, of course, the 31st when the next ones drop, which should be the final ones as well for that. Now, moving on from that, guys, it is... We do have the uh, the newer content to go check out. So let's go see if everything is up. There's supposed to be store offers as well. So let's go check that out. Let's go into store. Let's look around. So I'm assuming it's the game ball bundle. Is that is that been there? Game ball bundle is that it? Let's go to Zero Chill. Ghost of Madden Future. Ghost of Madden Past has been there. I'm gonna go with the game ball bundle is my is my best bet in terms of what that is. Right, the game ball bundle. And we also have the past spectra pack, which I thought had been there, but okay. Um, here we go. So we have the game ball bundle for 900 points. I guess that's not a horrible 81 plus, 85 plus, and one chill factor quick sign. I mean, 
still ten dollars for a decent chance at an 81 85 and a chill factor which at this point one chill factor is not really that useful because you can get two from the solos well or three if you haven't done any or four technically so yeah, it's not great your chance of 93 plus only 4.9 i mean i guess you have a chance of probably getting an isaiah simmons or one of the or a camara out of here but not exactly my favorite store offer to be completely honest with you guys i'm not the biggest fan of it at all but there is some use for it it's only nine bucks i mean it's not horrible but like i said not my favorite i would advise against that bundle if we go over to sets we should have some new stuff there as well considering which well, we're supposed to have some new stuff but you know how this stuff goes right we'll go check the auction block for it as well to see if anything has released because we're supposed to have a ghost feature today and some more stuff but we do have the jamal adams out at least so let's go check out the jamal adams right outside linebacker he's one of the newer guys that we did get let's go check out him i'm excited that jamal adams actually looks pretty good and people don't like linebackers but technically he's not a linebacker he's a safety that is moved to linebacker if you want to be technical about it so he should still have that ability to play pretty well and that's not the only thing we got. We also got the Chadavius White, which I will be checking out. So let's check out. I believe he's a right outside, right? Right outside linebacker. It is not up on the block yet. Let's go check out the Chadavius White is up. Because that is one of the newer cards as well. Now, I'm not even sure how you would get them, considering how this is right now. Um, does not appear to be up at all. Let's go check out the Jamal Adams again. You know how this stuff goes, though, guys. Let's try the quarterback. We also have a Daniel Jones coming today. But, you know, this stuff could take just a little bit of time. Let's go check that out. Okay, nothing is up to shit. 95 Jamal Adams here. He's not coming up in the blocks. So I'm going to show him here. 92 speed, 91 excel, 77 strength, 91 tackle. 95 play rank, 80 blocks, 70 power move, 80, uh, 57 finesse move. So for a safety at linebacker, not bad. I'm not sure if this will be similar. It's kind of a middle linebacker issue where they don't get animations because they are a linebacker and they're not supposed to get them. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case, but he will get 99 play rank. He should have a pretty high zone considering. It doesn't show it here, but we know he's going to have a pretty good zone. But only 92 speed. Now, I wish it could have been higher. It's going to be hard. I mean, he's going to be good. But again, we may be able to justify putting a faster safety in the box. But so Adams is good. I'm just not sure if the coding of the game is going to dictate how they react. Because I know that a lot of people complain. And I myself have noticed that middle linebackers just don't get jumping animations. A lot of picks go right over their head. Meanwhile, safeties are locked down. If a ball goes near them where they should pick it, they're going to probably pick it or at least defend or deflect it. While linebackers have the issue where they're literally like, like you're right there and you're holding the wire like, oh, cool, pick. And they don't go up for it. They have minimal athleticism. And it really sucks to see. So I'm not sure if Jamal Adams is going to be coded like a safety, coded like a linebacker, or if that's how it works, or it's based on some kind of stat. But he's going to be good. He's going to be a good out-of-position player, but maybe not the best out-of-position player. White is finally on the block. 95 overall cornerback for the Buffalo Bills. Check out his stats. 93 speed, 95 excel, 93 jumping, 87 jumping, sorry, 93 agility, 87 jumping, 88 play rack, 96 man, 94 zone, and 95 press. So he will be like Rod Woodson, getting all the thresholds. Now, he won't be better because of the speed, but he will still get 94 speed powered up, 96 uh, excel. He will have 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. He's going to be one of the top, probably a top five cornerback in the game. I wish his speed was slightly higher, but he does get some really good stats as well. Now, if we go down to hit power, only a nine, only 70. 81 tackle. I mean, of course, he's not gonna be as good as Rob Woodson. He's a bit smaller as well, but the card overall is great. If you have a Bills team team, you're gonna probably probably be, you know, stud quarterback on the Bills team team. Probably a 99 overall on that team. But he's still great nonetheless. I really like him. I think he's great. If he had a 94 speed, he'd probably be contested for like a top four cornerback in the game. But of course, that's not the case. Now let's go see if Daniel Jones is up as well. Considering we're still waiting for him here. Daniel Jones is up. So 94 overall quarterback for the Giants. 89 speed, 94 throw power, 92 short accuracy, 90 medium, 91 deep, 90 throw to pressure, 93 on the run, and 92 play action. Now, he is a field general quarterback, so Kem Dup, guys, he's going to have a close 99 throw power, if not 99 throw power. All the thresholds. going to be an all-around quarterback. Going to be around. Going to be kind of one of those quarterbacks that one likes, like McNair, you know, Favre, all those guys, but the only thing with him is going to be that he does not get powered up, but still going to be really good because he does get the speed and all the thresholds that you're going to want and the throw power. But he's a field general. A lot of people have been dealing, you know, been like a strong arms this year. But Daniel Jones is still really good nonetheless. So do not sleep on Daniel Jones. Now, a few notes that we do have here. We do have a new Jalen Hurts, which I do want to check out before we head on this video. We got a new, I think, Villanueva, Quentin Nelson. Um, some new souls I went over, the store offers. But I do want to check out the Hurts card, which I'm kind of the only one I care about out of that bunch. Maybe Quentin Nelson. Jalen Hurts got a 94 overall. 
halfback. I'm sorry, 84 overall halfback card. Although, which isn't bad. I mean, again, not 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 something special there. But he's gonna have a an 80, oh, 86 speed. Never mind. Never mind. We out. We're out of there. Let's check out Quentin Nelson real quick. I do want to see him. I hope he's not at fullback. I was kind of hoping these cards would have been in like an actual position here. Because a good Quentin Nelson line wouldn't have been too bad right now. Nelson's very common, but it's okay. Go down to Quentin Nelson. He's not going to show it. Um, let's see if we go to 293. It's probably not that great, guys. I mean, it's going to be hard to find stuff right now. But I'm just going to give you guys those notes anyways. We got Quentin Nelson. I believe Villanueva hurts. Uh, the new opposition, and we got the Daniel Jones and the wipe. That's about it for the video. I think I covered everything I want to cover. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. We still have more, you know, content and more stuff coming out this week. So stay tuned for that. But that's about it, guys. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that noti bell. Head over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. But I'm out. Peace.